so we're at the Alum Cave Trail. Alum, is that how you say it? Uh, this will be the second time we've hiked this, but... Third. What? For me. I came by myself. Oh, my wife came by herself without me, so... This will be my second time hiking. This is the third for my wife. But today we're going all the way up to the bluff. Uh, we're sans kids, which means we can hike a lot further today without complaining. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably start complaining, but... Hiking this time of year is uh, challenging for clothing. You start out, it's 40 some degrees in the morning, and then by the time the big fiery ball in the sky gets up to its apex, you're looking at 60, 70 degree temperature. But that's in the sun. And the minute you hit the shade areas like we're in right now, you can feel the cold mountain air just pouring off the mountain. I mean, you can feel it just uh, running through this valley and that means my fingers <laughs> are freezing I yeah I know you got the cool jacket on it's, it's a beautiful time of year for this the water's freezing up on our first uh, river crossing on the trail. And it's a big log that's been cut in half and we made a railing on it, so well, let's get across it. We're coming up on Arch Rock, which is a big sort of arched cave rock that has stairs running up through it. So. They get steep near the end, don't they? starting to get up to altitude <clears throat> you can feel it it's getting warmer and uh, lungs are burning but if you look out behind me you can see the whole mountain line there ridge uh, we're getting above the tree so it's starting to look really pretty see the view from here is amazing and the temperature is uh, significantly changed I've gone from a fleece to uh, uh, converting my pants to shorts <laughs> as I walk off the cliff so uh, yeah just uh, take it in out here man this is amazing So the trails are just lined with uh, rhododendrons. These beautiful plants I know nothing about. <laughs> but I heard a man walk by and say that they're rhododendrons and in the spring they bloom and it's just beautiful. Oh, 
um, hiking in on this trail, the parking lot fills up. It's full at nine o'clock in the morning. So you have to get here pretty early, but we assume it's a lot of um, overnight hikers, not a lot of day hikers that go up to Mount Lacan. Because at the top of this, there's a lodge and a couple of uh, uh, primitive tent camping sites up there and a few shelters to, uh, to tent in. A lot of serious hikers will end up there. And I think that they start at this trail and just leave their cars. So the trail isn't as crowded as the parking lot lends you to believe. We may have run into maybe two dozen people, if that, heading up here. But there was probably about like five to six dozen cars in the parking lot. And Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's going well. Yeah. You always meet friendly people on the difficult trails. Um, generally when you get to the trails that are close to roads and stuff where the tourists are, eh, it's not a, you don't hear a lot of good mornings or how are ya. Um, it's more like, get out of my way, I gotta get back to flapjacks and eat some pancakes. <laughs> you take a look up. These amazing bluffs above us. Oh. It's kind of hard because you're looking down to walk. You've got this amazing view above you. So we made it to Alum Cave, and here it is. Looks like a good enough spot to rest. I'll take a break here. Oh. I'm gonna sit here taking this view. And breaks over, snacks over. Now it's time to uh, hike out to some bad food and we still got a lot of walking to do. No, I'm not talking down here. So we'll go walk around Pigeon oh, Forge in Gatlinburg for two. four hours. And make this hike feel like nothing. So I think we went the wrong way. What do you think? Look at that. That thing up there behind us is amazing. Two hour hike to see this. If you it's coming down. It's loose gravel and, and uh, fall on your butt. Up all the way to the bluffs of the cave. And, uh, took a break, ate some lunch, and uh, we're heading back down. This is about 4.4 uh, miles round trip. Uh, the elevation change is about 1,100 feet. So uh, after about the midway point, it starts getting a little more difficult. But uh, it, it's it's a trail I think every average person can handle. It just might take you longer. About two hours up, maybe two hours down. Um, but the view, you can't beat this. Ah, this is gorgeous. The only thing you can hear up here is the water roaring down the middle of the valley there. This is where it's warmest. This hike is you start in warm clothes and then you finish a day like this. Oh, steep cave. It says it's an arch, but I think this is like a cave. 